Fantastic. We're here backstage with John Gray, PhD, um, author of uh, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, and uh, Relationship Expert. So we've uh, been very lucky to, uh, thank you, John, uh, to take a couple of minutes. And, and John uh, asked you a few questions. And, and the first question as a relationship expert, really, relationships are absolutely critical in business, whatever level you're at. Um, what a couple of things maybe that, that from your experience within business are critical to relationships and that we need to be aware of and maybe one or two things that we need to be doing differently? Well, the most important thing in business is relationships today. Uh, it's the competitive edge is if you're able to build trust in your relationships. Mm -hmm. And there's many factors that go into building trust, but one of those factors is making sure you're communicating in such a way that a person feels valued that that person feels appreciated. And when we layer on top of that concept that men and women are different, what happens is that men communicate in ways that make men feel valued, but not women, and vice versa. So if I understand a woman, then I know that I need to take more time to ask her questions about what she thinks. You see, women feel valued if you put more time and attention into listening to them. Now, men feel more valued if you take more time to ponder what they're saying, repeat what they're saying in a tone of voice like this. Well, that's a really good idea. So what you're saying is this and this and this. And if you can actually reflect back what that person has said better than what they did, they're going to be very impressed by you because they're going to take credit for that <laughs> and you did a better job. So the secret of being a good communicator is to hear and then communicate back what you heard in the context of that is a brilliant idea. The words I teach women to use a lot, but men can use these words as well when you're working with men, is good idea, that makes sense, right, excellent, brilliant, this is going to work. These kinds of phrases awaken inside of a man a sense of he is being appreciated. And if you give that message to a man, he will then give more to you. Now, vice versa, those phrases work with women, but much more so with men. What works more with women is tell me more. So what I help me to understand what you're saying is something you can say to a woman. You think you understand it, but help me to understand what you're saying. I really want to know what you mean by that. So you're probing deeper into what her thought process is, nodding your head, maintaining eye contact with her. These things go a long way in terms of building trust with women. Men often will hear a woman's uh, challenge she's facing, uh, issues she has, a concern she has, and immediately he wants to jump in there with a solution. Oh, don't worry about that. We can handle it. We can do this. And unknowingly, he has sabotaged that relationship. What he wants to do is communicate in a way which recognizes what men, what women need most if you're a man and what men need most if you're a woman. And men particularly need to be valued. Women need to feel valued. But the way a woman feels valued is when you demonstrate interest and caring and asking her point of view. So these are some of the basic fundamentals of being gender smart in our relationships in the workplace. Gender smart, I love it, yeah. And also that whole listening, communicating. Communication is, is so critical here. Um, John, again, as a relationship expert in communication, obviously obviously the, the critical part of that. W what other things can um, men understand, maybe even towards men, other men? And I know we talk about genders here, but you know, a lot of the business relationships are male to male. Um, what other things can men understand about those type of relationships? Well, when I'm talking about being gender smart and understanding the differences between men and women, I'm also talking about every man has a male and female side. Every woman has a male and female side. And you want to sense where they're coming from in that moment. If you're working with a man and let's say you're in sales and you're about to have a big project that's going to cost a lot of money, it's a bigger risk. The more money you spend, the bigger the risk. And as soon as a man is feeling the risk, he's actually on his female side where he might have fears and concerns or bad, bad experiences in the past. And being able to actually assist him in articulating, tell me what your concerns are. Again, rather than minimizing his concerns, tell me what your concerns are. And recognizing that men have a gene, basically, that says, if I don't have to do it, I don't want to do it. 
Men only do what they have to do. So if you can lift the burden off of what a man, his responsibilities are, and you can say, look, when you hand this job off to us, we're going to do this for you, we're going to do this for you, and you're not going to have to worry about this, and we can do this. That's A. And B, if I want to impress him the most, I want to make sure he knows my track record. I have done this before, and I've done this, and we are the best at this. Always find your niche where you can say, and you're the best at a particular thing. So when you can communicate to a man your competence after first acknowledging his competence, you don't want to come across as so great kind of implies he's not great. You want to take the time, and most men don't understand this. They just want to build themselves up, and they don't recognize it. If you want somebody to trust you and depend upon you and work with you, you also have to build them up a bit by asking some of their concerns, re-articulating them as if, well, that's, that's clear. That makes sense to me, and that's an important, that's important value. That's an important goal. We also share that goal, and this is what we've done to accomplish that in the past, and we can do that in the future. We can do this. We can do this. We've done this before and this before. This is often one of the most powerful ways to build trust with a man, whether you're a woman <clears throat> or you're a man working with a man. John, pearls of wisdom, thank you so much. We especially appreciate it because you're just about to go on stage to a full house. Um, so that's fantastic. Uh, we wish you best of luck for tonight. As I'm sure you don't need it. But um, enjoy this evening, and uh, thank you so much. Well, thank you, and I appreciate you giving me an opportunity to talk to all the coaches here and sharing gender smart coaching. And I want anyone to know if they'd like to learn more about gender smart coaching or Mars Venus coaching, we provide courses in that as well. Leadership, gender smart leadership, gender, gender smart sales and management. Fantastic, John. Look forward to connecting with you again soon.